Hey everyone, Jameson Aguilar, and I've got a test set up, and I'm going to go over a little bit about how we developed the uh, lead mod number one in Sparkle Drive Mod. Um, I originally intended it to have some elements of some of my favorite effects processors, or you know, in this case, a tape echoplex, and some pedals like the tube driver, things that were a little thicker on the bottom end and did some natural high end roll off. So I've got a test rig here using my pedal switcher where in loop number one I've got the Echoplex, in number two I have the Tube Driver, and number three I have the Sparkle Drive Mod. So to start off with I've got a Marshall kind of at about eight, really loud. It's a 100 watt Super Trem going into the next room with the cabinet, mic'd with a Unidyne 57, Unidyne 3 SM57 in to the uh, cabinet at 8 ohms with uh, the Eric Johnson Eminent speakers. So that's coming back in here to Pro Tools. Uh, at the moment, let's take a listen to the amp by itself. Okay, so now let's take a listen to the tube driver. And then we're going to switch to the Sparkle Drive Mod. You'll see the lights change on the uh, pedal switcher there. <laughs> So one thing you'll notice is that, depending on how you play the tube driver, they actually can be a little glitchy, uh, which is one of the reasons you'll see a lot of things like the Echoplex or like a, a, a Crybaby Wah that doesn't have G-Bypass. It does Those things do a little natural high and roll off. So the tube driver itself, it's a love the pedal, great sound, but it actually can use a little uh, trouble roll off. Whereas with the Sparkle Drive mod, I've made the mid range a little bit more neutral, and the high end roll off actually does occur in the pedal before it gets distorted in there a bit. So it actually has a little bit more of that smoother high end roll off thing, and nice open mid range that's not too honky with a lot of bass. So now we can listen to the uh, Sparkle Drive mod now, and to listen to the tube driver with the Echoplex preamp in front. And one thing to understand about this is. We're going into the Echoplex, then into the tube driver. I've also taken out the tape path. So we're, go we're using the unit, and it is on and the motor spinning, but I just take basically take the tape, and you pop it off the little pin troller there. So everything's running as normal. It's just that we're not hearing the delay. So again, so that, which this basically becomes one giant uh, filter. Uh, to put it simply, this acts like a low-pass filter, at least on the high end, where it's taking everything past a certain point in the high end and just killing it. So it has a very dark or smooth top end, depending on how you look at it. So again, which lead mod one here has a little bit of that done for you on the one, and then you can hear that. So let's let's take a listen here. Here is the tube driver with the echo packs on front. <laughs> Thank you. 
thing you should also notice is, uh, just take a listen to the noise floor. So here's the Sparkle Drive mod in the background. And then we'll switch to the tube driver Echoplex. So in the end of all of this, what I was trying to show a little bit of is uh, how the Sparkle Drive, at least in this case in the Lead Mod 1, kind of has its own thing. It, it does have a little characteristic feel that you'd get with the tube driver and Echoplex, even though it's not those specifically. You get a little bit of that vibe, and again, I don't have to actually take this stuff over. You can take one pedal and kind of does all that for you. Plus, it's, uh, it's a, again, a little bit more neutral in the mid-range. It's got a little bit bigger bottom end and the smoother top. So, again, it's kind of like this stuff, but you can actually go a few different places with this and hopefully find your own sound by the end of that. So, it's a little bit behind the uh, concept of the Lead Mod 1. Thanks.